They're burning all the books. They're burning all the books? Lord, no, no. They're burning Lord of the Rings. I must save the books. Here are all the books. Thanks for all the books. for watching Bathroom News. My name is Mar Mara, reporting from Greece. Greece is a beautiful place filled with pottery and ancient stuff. Uh, there are 12 major Greek gods. Also, the Olympics in 77, 6 BC was at ancient Greece. Also, Greece is filled with lots, I mean lots of clubs. I'm Miles from Bela Media. Thank you for watching West Harvard.
kid, you need a permit on, to be on this stage. Where is it? This house is fun. those rakes and run and break be the media then sue your teacher the end TV. Today we're here with Noir and Liam. Thank you for being here today. Could you tell us what you learned in science lab today? Turkey. What do you call a boy turkey? A tom. What do you call a girl turkey? A hen. What did you draw today? A feather. A feather. That's so cool. Now let's hand it over to Maria and Catherine. Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Maria. Let's see what's happening in fifth grade. Joining us today are Leah and Matthew. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us what you're working on in Science Lab? We made claims based on measurements that we made from stream tables. We are now trying to find evidence based on, to support those claims. And we are also finding stuff that does not support our claims. That sounds awesome! Now let's pass it over to Benjamin and Brianna. Hi, I'm Benjamin. And I'm Brianna. And this is Science in the News. Our first news story for today has to deal with our solar system. Did you know that there might be a new planet beyond Pluto? Scientists believe that there might be a new planet out there called Planet X. Although Planet X has not been officially discovered, scientists have evidence to prove that it might be there. In January 2015, astron astronomers has, by the name of Constantin Vadigin and Mike Brown, announced new research that provide evidence of a ninth planet in the solar system. This evidence has ba is based on details mathematically modeled at a and computer simulations. This planet could have a mass about 10 times that of planet Earth and orbit to 20 times farther that, from the sun. <laughs> that means that they may take between 1,000 10,000 10, to 20,000 Earth years to make out one full orbit around the sun. Our next new story comes all the way from Asia. Hansen robots located in Hang, Hong Kong has developed a new robot named Sophia. Sophia was developed by Dr. David Hanson. Sophia is truly amazing. Here are some pictures. Our final news story for today deals with an adorable Arctic fax. Wild filmmakers often use hidden cameras to see, to observe animals in their natural habitats. One PBS film crew was trying to capture footage of Arctic foxes in the Arctic tundra. However, they got a surprise. One of the fox pups discovered the camera and tried to eat the camera. Now let's pass it over to Catherine with her amazing alligator fact. Did you know alligators can't stick their tongue out? Wow, that's so cool. Now let's pass it over to Mel with a new segment about dinosaurs. Hi, my name is Mel Cardenas, and we're here today of, of dinosaur. We named it Allosaurus. Allosaurus means different lizard as a bony ridge 
coming out of his head. Also why it lives from Utah, Europe, and Canada. Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Davino, and this is Animal of the Week. This week, we will be highlighting the many fish in, located in the office. There are many different kinds of fish in the tank, including tetras, two catfish, and a suckerfish. There are a total of 13 fish in the tank. Mr. Princess and Mrs. Flanagan do, do a great job of feeding the fish every morning. Next time you are in the office, see how many fish you can count. Hello and welcome back to Smith TV. My name is Ruben. And my name is Brianna. Today we are going to share with you what's happening in two different grades. Let's start with kindergarten. Joining us today are Ella and Richard. Thank you for being with us. What are you doing in science lab? We are going, we are, um, go, we went on a color hunt. We found purple, red, green, and brown, and black. That sounds like fun. Let's turn it over to Ben, Marie, and Catherine. Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Ben, Marie. Today we will be sharing you what's happening in fourth grade. Joining us today are Haley and Tavia. Thank you for being here. Can you share with us what are you working on in Science Lab? We have been working on footprints and finding out uh, what the which animals of footprints are. And we have been making up stories about them. And Haley? We got footprints and made inferences and observations. <laughs> That sounds really exciting. Now let's turn it over to Maria and Rory. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Rory, and this is Science in the News. During this time, we will share with some Science in the News stories. Let's start with the earthquake that hit Mexico about three weeks ago. An earthquake is defined as a shaking of the Earth's surface. On September 19, 2017, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake hit Mexico. This earthquake caused windows to shatter, buildings to crumble, and sadly, many people were also hurt. Mexico is working hard day and night to rebuild their nation. Here are some pictures. The next day on September 20th, 2017, Hurricane Maria made the landfall in Puerto Rico. When it reached the island, it was a powerful ca Category 4 storm with winds of over 155 miles per hour. This storm left all of Puerto Rico without power and basic resources. Three weeks later, Puerto Rico is still working to clean up and restore power to all its residents. Here are some pictures. Now it's time for some animal news. At Yellowstone National Park in the 1970s, the number of grizzly bears was decreasing to about only 140 bears. In 1975, grizzly bears were added to the endangered species list, meaning they can't be killed, harmed, or captured. Thanks to being put on the endangered species list, the grizzly bear population of the park has now been increased to about 700 bears. Because of this, the grizzly bears have now been taken off of the endangered species lists. However, we as humans still need to do our part to help save the grizzlies. That's all for Science in the News. Now, let's hand it over to Reuben and Catherine. Hi, I'm Reuben. And I'm Catherine. And it's time for Animal of the Week. This week's animals are Torty and Stella. 
Tori and Stella have been at Smith for many years. When not sleeping, Tori and Stella enjoy eating lettuce and apples. Next time you're in the science lab, see if you can spot them in their tank. Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Sophia, and this is Smith TV. During the, our broadcast, we will highlight some of the fun things happening in science lab. <laughs> Let's start with first grade. Hi, we're here with Piper and Aiden. Thank you for being here today. Can you share with us what you are working on in science lab? We'll, um, we'll, we went outside and we, we took leaves and we tried to identify where, which tree they came from. On fall, they change color because of chlorophyll. That's amazing! Now let's pass it over to Ruben and Maria. Thanks, Sophia. I'm Ruben. And I'm Maria. Let's see what's happening in third grade. Joining us today are Sophia, not the same one, and Isaiah. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us what you're working on in science lab? Well, we are doing force in motion and how far something goes if it with the force that you put on it. And we're using ramps to see how fast it goes and we're going to measure it. That sounds so interesting. I remember when I did that in third grade. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Rory, and this is Science in the News. During this segment, we will share with you some news stories involving science. Let's get started. As you know, October is Pumpkin Month in the United States. This is the time when people eat pumpkin-flavored items, carve pumpkins, and some even grow them. Each year, Half Moon Bay, California holds a pumpkin Super Bowl, where farmers can showcase their giant pumpkins. This year's winning pumpkin belonged to a man named Joel Holland. His pumpkin weighed 2,363 pounds. His pumpkin also broke the American record for largest pumpkin grown. Here is a picture of the prize-winning pumpkin. In other news, scientists in China are working on a brand new invention called nanomachines that can completely change the way people treat diabetes. Diabetes affects the body's ability to control the level of sugar in the blood. If the blood gets too high or low, people can get very sick. Nanomachines patrol the blood, seeking sugar. When there's too much sugar, the nanomachines soak it up like a sponge. When there's not enough sugar in the blood, the nanomachines releases the stored sugar. Scientists are called the, calling these nanomachines a sugar sponge. Did you know you can mail postcards from the ocean? Well, that is the case in Vinatu, an island nation near northern Australia. They have created the first underwater post office. This underwater post office is run by Vera Tabaki. His job is to make sure that the postcards are picked up daily. However, sometimes he swims down to man the office. The underwater post office is used by tourists who want to send postcards to their families from the sea. Other underwater post offices have now started to open throughout the world, but Vanatu will always be the first. That's all for today in Science in the News. Now let's pass it over to Annabelle and Brianna <laughs> for Animal of the Week. Hi, I'm Annabelle. And I'm Brianna, and this is Animal of the Week. This week we will be highlighting Roxy as our Animal of the Week. Roxy is a corn snake. She is two and a half years old. When not sleeping, she enjoys eating mice. Roxy is shy, but she is friendly and she loves people. Next time you're in the science lab, see if you can spot Roxy in her tank. Look carefully, she likes to hide. Now let's pass it over to Catherine and Rory. Hi, I'm Catherine, your host of Trash Takedown. The student and teacher will take turns grabbing one piece of trash from the tray and placing them in the correct bins. Once placed, the person will run back and the other team member will run. Let's meet our players. On team one, we have Mr. Goldberg and Annabelle. On team two, we have Mrs. McCarrowitz and Maria. On team three, we have Mrs. Julito and Ruben. All right, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Ruben, take your lead. What's going to happen? No one knows. Yeah, no. It's close behind him. Yeah, well, Maria carefully sorts the compost and recycling. <laughs> What's going to happen, Mr. Goldberg? Ready out. Wow, this is amazing race. Who's going to win? Oh no, what's gonna happen? Not good, that's not good, that's not good. Next track in the recycling bin. Recycling bin. 
so not to do that. Yay! Yay! And she's the principal. <laughs> I feel really good, but uh, if it wasn't for my teammate Annabelle, we wouldn't have won. How about you, Annabelle? I feel like I'm gonna die right now. That's great! <laughs> Back to you! Thank you, everyone! And we'll see you next time for our game show, Trash Thank you! Hello, and welcome to Smith TV. My name is Ruben. And my name is Bender Me. Today we are going to look at some of the fun things that are happening in the science lab. Let's start with second grade. Joining us today are Pia and Rui. Can you share with us what you are doing in science lab? We're, we're, um, we're making observations of pill bugs and if you touch them they'll roll up into balls to protect themselves. And what did you do? Well, we were investigating pond water and top water. They the um, pond water was like, it was kind of yellow and it had like like pieces of grass in it, but the, um, the top water was all clear. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Here are some pictures about that investi investigation. Let's check in with Maria and Rory to see what's happening in fifth grade. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Rory. Let's check to see what's happening in fifth grade. Joining us today are Travel and Samantha. Can you share with us what you're working on in science lab? So we're working on erosion with stream tables and we're changing the flow and the slope for stream tables and what we notice is that there's like water flows through really quickly through sand and it can change over time. And what happen, What happens during water erosion is, if it's on a landform, the landform changes its shape and moves around. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to learn more about it. Now let's pass it over to Brianna and Catherine. Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Catherine. This is a new segment that we call Science in the News. Our first news story is about the solar eclipse. A solar eclipse is when the sun and the moon align. This causes the moon pass directly in front of the sun, causes the sky to darken. This is possible because the sun, although around 14 million times bigger, than the moon, it's also about 14 million times farther away. There are many different ways to see a solar eclipse. You can use special glasses, film tape, or a box with a pinhole in it. Just make sure you never look directly at the sun during the, during the eclipse. Our next news story is about the three hurricanes that happened. In the past months, there have been three hurricanes hit the United States. Hurricanes are defined as a storm with violent winds, typically off the Caribbean. That's all the news for today. Here's some pictures of the solar eclipse and the hurricanes. We're back with our little friend, Ballerina. She's been chosen for our new section of Smith TV, Animal of the Week. Every week we will explore classroom pets, science lab animals, and other creatures found throughout the building. Ballerina is two and a half and friendly, cute and shy. Next time you're in the science lab, be extra quiet and maybe you'll hear Ballerina squeak. 